Welcome to the Overnight Coder. Today, I want to show you something really cool that I've been playing around with. They're just buttons, right? So cool buttons that um, do something a little bit different. Uh, of course, we're just on a site that has these buttons um, and they kind of have like this flip over or this, uh, you know, flip card with two images and then a button here. And it's really not hard, but, you know, I wanted to design something like these um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So now I've been using them a lot. So check this out. We're gonna edit with Elementor. Of course, all you need for this is Elementor. Um, I don't think you need Pro. Uh, I'll try to confirm that, but I don't think we're gonna be using any Pro features. And um, once I get in, I'm just gonna create three below these three, right? I'm just gonna give it a little bit of space, add a section. Uh, I am gonna throw a huge spacer in there so we can kind of see. Uh, again, you don't have to use that spacer. This is not part of the tutorial. Just wanna kinda, whoops, block it off so. You can see exactly what we're doing. Uh, I'll probably duplicate that just so the bottom is blank as well. All right, so here's where it starts. You add a new section, all right? The section is gonna be in columns, the columns that you kind of want. So in my case, I'm using three column layout. So I'm gonna go ahead with the three column layout. And inside that three column layout, I am going to add a button. I'm gonna throw the button in there. Um, for the style and background, or I'm going to go to the style tab. My color is 100% transparency, so I'm just going to move that button on over. And now I can't see anything that I'm working with, right? So what I also want to do is change the text color. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with white. I know it's already white. But keep in mind, I'm going to have a background color. And then I'm also just going to make this, um, just for kicks, I'm going to pick up a font that's a little bit thicker with bold. Right? So I'm going to go with pop-ins, let's call it 25, and let's call it 600. Right? Uh, so we, I know you can't see it. If you want to be able to see it, I'll jump into that real quick. So you just added a button, but how about the column background? So edit column, just clicking this button here to edit the column, and then going to the style. And in the background type, instead of doing a color, I'm going to select an image. For this case, we're just going to grab one of these images here, insert media, and now I have this background and this button that you can see. So when I hover, I've also, matter of fact, let's set the position. The position I'm using center center, and my size is cover. And you can kind of see how that's coming to life, right? So the button is here, yada yada, the image background's there. For hover, I'm going to use a different image. Let's say, uh, let's say this one, and insert media. And now when you hover over it, you've got another different image, right? So everything looks good there. I'm also going to set this to position, center, center, and the size to cover. All right, perfect. So let's go back to editing that button. And with the editing button, what we're going to do is First, we're going to go to the content tab and make this justified. So I want it all the way from left to right. Now you can see my button goes from here to here. And then the last little bit, uh, I am going to go to style for, for a second, actually advanced. And I am going to mess up the padding top as well as an equal padding bottom. So let's just say I stop on 70. For bottom, I'm also going to do 70. That makes my button this big, the width of you know pretty much almost my image. So you can see how this is coming to fruit. I do like a little bit of darker transparency or gradient over those images because I really can't see the click here. So I'm gonna go back in to edit the column. In the column, I'm gonna do a background overlay. My background overlay of most likely black. Don't have to use black, but again, actually let's use, yeah, let's use, a, no, you know what, let's use a blue. Uh, I like the gray. Either way, you can use any color you want and then you can mess with the opacity here. You want it to be lighter, do you want it to be darker? Kind of looking at that like, hey, I like that. I'm gonna copy these, so I'm just gonna copy the color and notice that it was 0.53 because on hover, I wanna do the same, right? So background type, I'm gonna paste in the color and then 0.53 and you can see how I'm kind of getting off there, right? I like that. Uh, also for the column, I'm gonna set the border a border radius of something to make it a little bit rounded. So if I do this, you can see how it's rounding the corners, but I'm just gonna go with a nine. Um, I'm not gonna put a border type on it. And then more importantly, the only thing I'm missing is the advanced column. I'm still in the column, but in advance, I wanna, I wanna suck that 
margin down some. So I'm going to go with 12, and then all I'm going to do is duplicate, duplicate, and then remove these other columns. So that's pretty much it. You have a button, edit button. The button can go to your link, which is, you know, anywhere you want it to go. HTTPS, yahoo.com. If I wanted to open it up in a new tab, oops, you're here. If I don't want to open it up in a new tab because it's on my website, that's there. And uh, that's it. So super simple, but it's a uh, really cool little trick that, you know, you can, you can kind of edit and make these awesome buttons that uh, have background and then flip images uh, on them. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Shorter video. Just, uh, yeah, enjoy. Bye.